This is Tony Andre with resortsandlodges.com inviting you to Hayward, Wisconsin. For fishing fanatics, there are few places more revered as Hayward, Wisconsin. Here you can find the world's biggest muskie, well, two of them in fact. The National Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame is actually housed within the four and a half story, 140 foot long fish. It provides a history of the sport and a place where anyone can try their hand in reeling in a fish. So the largest muskie ever caught within Hayward Lakes was incinerated in a bar fire. We do know that the second sits in the moccasin bar. At 67 pounds, 8 ounces, it sits with its fellow taxidermied friends who are busy boxing and playing cards. You'll want to head to Lumberjack Village to see the setting of the Lumberjack World Championships. When there are no lumberjacks to be found, you can grab an ice cream at the Namakagan Cone or some flapjacks at the Pancake House. This is also the region of the Lakota Ojibwe Indian Reservation. You can spend time at the casino for some slots or to catch a show, or head out to Al Capone's hideout. Your tour brings you to the secret home of the mafioso kingpin. You get a tour of his beautiful house which overlook a picturesque lake. See the cell where visitors and historians are still left to speculate as to what happened here. Look at old booze running trucks and his garages of personal cars and wander the grounds once patrolled by his very own gunman. It is a unique experience but one that will run a chill up your spine. Hayward's main drag has shirt factories, tremblays, homemade fudge, and many shops claiming to be truly Wisconsin. Just outside of the main stretch is a good place to catch a local brew at the old Hayward Eatery and Brew Pub. While it might seem unlikely, Hayward, Wisconsin is actually the birthplace of one of America's favorite barbecue restaurant, a little place called Famous Dave's Barbecue. Uh, I'll explain the rest inside. It was Dave Anderson who began Famous Dave's back in the mid-90s. A true local from the Lacoudere Indian Reservation, Famous Dave was later to become the head of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Famous Dave specializes in many barbecue offerings and the sides are just as good as the meal itself. Its longevity and national success is a true sign of its universal appeal to eaters everywhere. But it wouldn't be a true Hayward experience if you did not head to one of the many lakes or rivers to fly fish or bait cast. Such organizations as the Quiet Lakes Association keep the waters clean and area peaceful for fisher folk and nature lovers alike. It's a group of homeowners and resort owners who are protecting these wonderful waters. And we've been at this for three generations and there's a reason that we are so protective of them we realize that if we can have pure water, everybody wins. So it's not overbuilt. Planes are not allowed to fly lower than 500 feet, and that's to protect our eagles, and they nest here. Um, we are very careful that our fishery and our, all of our wildlife are protected, and we've done some special things. In 1962, we put into law the 10 mile per hour speed limit so that we didn't say you can't have jet skis, but you can't get up and get the momentum to use them here. So it's very quiet. Um, the nature abounds for that reason. And we have had results of it, not only happy people living here, but the fishing is has become very, uh, prolific and it's kind of interesting to me to note that way back when when some of us old-timers that have resorts that are 85 90 years old that early in the 50s the program for release of muskies was initiated and Nelson Ross over on Teal would give out little hand carved muskies to anybody who released a legal muskie and so you can tell this feeling was here. We're here to stay. Our families are like, we're on fifth generation. And we're here to stay. So we want to protect the waters. Um, and because of that, the fishing, as I said, is being very productive. Not only do the muskies breed here naturally in these spring-fed 
lakes, but also um, they are being stocked, and so are the walleye. And it's interesting also to note that for the Muskie Incorporated contest last fall, 10 of the 20 biggest fish were caught in these protected lakes, so it works. So, if you're searching for a prime fishing spot or a place for family fun, be sure to put Hayward, Wisconsin on your list of top destinations.